with another installment, the monthly for the zodiac sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of November 2017. The music you hear in the background is instrumentals uh, from Whitney Houston, some of her greatest hits. So if you hear something in the background, I just wanted to make that acknowledgement, okay? Um, because I don't want my video banned either, okay? So anyway, uh, listen guys, November sun moon rising gemini let's see what it tells spreading universe what are the messages you have for gemini sun moon and rising for november show me show me gemini i have been focusing on love lately because um love is everything love is very important love determines whether your finances is running smoothly or not um when i leave messages just for finances people don't look at it nobody really cares okay because everybody when you get down to the bottom of it they care about love who's going to be with me who am i going to share my life with who's going to love me that point of you know fact they, they don't really give a shit about the finances all right it doesn't matter where you're working at who you work for if your love life is in shambles so is your career okay so gemini let's see one more. Forgive my nails. I will get them done when I have the time. Right now, I don't have no damn time. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what that was. I just slid it under. First card out, Gemini. Page of Swords. Three of Swords. The world. Under the page of swords, we got the two of pentacles. The three of swords is the high priestess. This is definitely infidelity for you, Gemini's. Eight of pentacles under the world. King of wands under the two of pentacles. Seven of swords under the high priestess. And nine of wands under the eight of pentacles. The knight of wands is the overall energy. <coughs> um, Gemini. I'm going to tell you the truth. You had a soulmate connection recently with a fire sign, maybe Sagittarius. Okay. Could also be Leo. Um, forgive me for bumping that. Sorry for that. Let me get that back together. All right. It could have also been Leo. All right. You did this person wrong. This is a failed contract. I'm going to be honest with you. Because you have the world card here, but right up under that, you got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. What does that tell me? Well, that tells me that you were in a very beautiful soulmate contract with a fire sign. This was where you're supposed to be. But because of that, you didn't fulfill that. So maybe you're going after somebody else, somebody that you've been connected to for a long time. This is unlike Gemini. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be another air sign like you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're messing this contract up, Gemini. You should be, uh, actually, right now, you should be with a Gemini. Uh, well, you should be with a Sagittarius or a Leo. Clearing up that karmic energy that you have, a karmic tie. You didn't do that. You went right back to what felt comfortable to you. Even though it was a lot of problems, a lot of stress, maybe you have kids with, with this individual and it keeps pulling you back in, but you are not giving the next person a chance, Gemini. We all know that Gemini loves to stand in this Knight of Wands energy. I don't want to make any decisions. I want to do it as it comes. I don't want to be committed. I don't want to be held down. I want to be free. What you don't realize is that in that relationship with that fire sign, you were free. Going back to what didn't suit you before and is not going to suit you now is bonding you. Gemini, you're simply in love with somebody from your past. I'm just going to keep a 100 thought out there to you. You, you love the ground. Maybe this Capricorn Taurus Virgo walks on or this Libra Gemini Aquarius like you. you 
you love the ground they walk on and, and you tried. And I feel like this is a lot of Geminis that were involved with Sagittarius. You really tried to make it work with Sagittarius or Leo. However, you couldn't break that tie that you had with that mysterious person, the baby mama, whatever it is. Let's look at it. <clears throat> Tell me about that high priestess. Three of Wands. Tell me more. Ten of Swords and the Sun. All right, let me go into the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. This is a third party situation, Gemini. And I think it's a third party situation with somebody that you have been with for a long time already. I don't think it's anyone new. Five of Wands. Maybe you got kids with this person. I told you. And the Five of Swords. This is cheating. Gemini. You were cheating with somebody you already got kids with. You don't feel it was cheating because you weren't yet ready to move forward. Okay? And, and I have been forcing you. I'm guilty of it. All year, I've been forcing Gemini to embrace the soulmate that came in with fire signs. If you go back to my earlier readings, you're going to hear me saying, Gemini... Let go of the past and move on. And I forced you, and it may have been a little bit too soon for you because you weren't over it. Even though you tried to make it work with this fire sign, you weren't quite over it. Go into the world. I need to see what becomes of it now. The Ace of Wands, tell me more. Page of Pentacles. You got a child with this last person. The Eight of, Eight of Wands. You have a child with this last person and the hangman. You have a child with this last person, okay, that you ran off to. Didn't really give that fire sign a chance. You ran back to your past lover. It may have been an air sign. It could have been an earth sign. It was what you were comfortable with. I can't really fault you. But now, excuse me. This fire sign may be a wall. You don't know where they are. You haven't communicated with them. I'm going to tell you something. What is this going to lead? Well, honestly, it's probably going to lead to a heartbreak. Okay? Because the Nine of Wands has an element of you can't expect anything different. If you've been getting the same thing for nine years, seven years, eight years, then you can't expect anything different. It's, you're going back to the same old thing. Spirit gave you the opportunity to change your life and to put you in a better situation. And it couldn't work for you. That didn't work that way for you. You still crept off to what was familiar with you. So you'll probably end up with a heartbreak, um, feeling lonely and desperate and, and depressed. So I'm going to be honest. Uh, some of you Geminis could find yourself single for the month of November. Because it almost feels to me, looking at this reading, that you're going to give and give and give to this past lover, just like you have in the past. And it's not going to be anything that you want it to be. Go into the Knight of Wands. Page of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. Tell me more. I feel like you have a child with this person already in the tower. It, it's not going to be anything good for you, Gemini, I'm going to be honest. I mean, you ran back to what is familiar with you because you have a child with this individual. Now you could be stuck raising the child. You want to be with this person. But it's a turbulent relationship. It's not what you want. And this person could already be spoken for. Go into that tower. Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. It's a relationship that you love. A relationship that you know. Because you have that bond with that individual that keeps you there for a long time. You know, I feel as children, honestly. It, it, it's not going to turn out the way you want it to, Gemini. You know, it's only one month. I mean, maybe things will change. That is going to pertain to my single Geminis as well as my couples or were couples. If you were a couple Gemini, you were coupled with a fire sign. 
um, and you ran off and ran back to an earth sign or air sign. Let's see if I can pull anything different. Page of Wands, the Moon, Queen of Swords, I shoot Gemini, under the Page of Wands is the King of Wands, see this, Ten of Wands under the Moon, Six of Wands under the Queen of Swords, alright, let me, let me pull on this Six of Wands and pull on this King of Wands, Six of Wands. Sun, tell me more. The Queen of Swords. The Magician. Some of you Geminis, if you are uh, connected to... Some of you Geminis could have um, recently... Looks like maybe you uh, thought you were pregnant by a fire sign, Aries. Uh, Leo Sag. And it... it um, it's not their baby. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. If you found yourself pregnant, thought you were pregnant by an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it's not actually their child going to the moon. It's not their kid. You thought maybe this would keep you with this situation, but no. Look at that. Ten of Swords. The King of Cups. And the Death card. So... Gemini, if you found yourself pregnant, it probably was a water signs baby, actually. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this is who the father was originally. So those of you that are in a situation and you're like, no, I need a word. I need a fucking DNA test. I don't have the money, but tell me what it is. Okay. Well, Gemini, if you found yourself messing with two individuals, one of them were a fire sign, the other one was a water sign, you're trying to figure out who's the baby's father. It is the water signs. Okay. It's not the fire signs. This will come out for the month of uh, November. Go on to the uh, King of Wands. Oh, shit. The High Priestess. Tell me more. And the Eight of Swords. See, this might be a Pisces baby. And the five of wands. Yeah, Gemini, if you were pregnant, you, you found yourself with a with a pregnancy. You could be single as well. This is single, okay? It might have been the baby of uh, someone that you're trying to keep a secret. It was probably a Pisces baby, Gemini, if you were pregnant. It was not the Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo's child. Okay? Um, Gemini, single Gemini, I honestly feel like if you're looking for love, you're looking for a relationship to pop off for you, you should go towards a fire sign, right? So if you're single, this is not your situation, you don't have any children, you should go towards a fire sign. But that's not to negate. Even if you go towards a fire sign, you're single. This baby situation is not yours. Nine times out of ten. Mark my words for it. Because you guys say, I don't say anything for singles. I'm telling you right now how this works. You go after a fire sign, you're going to find out that fire sign has a karmic tie with a water sign. They probably have a child with that individual. If it's not you, then it's going to be the partner that you're involved with. All right? At the time, you can't see it because you're blinded by love, blinded by affection. Come to find out this person has a baby on the way or is um, has a child already and, and they never got to the bottom of it and it happens to be a water science baby if you're dealing with a fire sign. Okay? So, I love you, Gemini. Remember, you can hit me up for personal reading allsingitarot at gmail.com Look in the description box below the video and I'll set you up on my first available. Do like, share, comment below and ultimately subscribe. Okay? Support me. I'm going to support you. And until next time, thank you, Gemini.